Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kushbu, and a lot of things have been going on, so I was not very active on YouTube. So as you all guys know that Google Generation Scholarship is live, so here are the details. Please apply before the deadline and make sure that you apply because don't feel that you are not worth it or uh, there are better better candidates out there. Yeah, you had not done enough. We don't need to self reject, right? Uh -huh. It is going to be great experience anyways. So yeah. So I really wanted to come up and tell you all about it and give you a little bit of pointers that how you can increase your chances to get selected in the scholarship. So I have invited Ria. She is one of the Google Generation Scholar from past year. So listen to this small conversation of ours, where she is going to share some tips regarding the application process and how you can make your application stand out, right? Hello, hi guys. So see, there are two to three points to this. Firstly, your story, your own story is the only thing that can make you unique and that can make you stand out. So be personal. and do not hold back thinking that you might not make it because keep this mindset in mind ki bhai uh, what's the worst that can go you write the application you get to know about yourself you research about stuff it's just an add on there's nothing that can go wrong so do apply them nothing no experience is big or small honestly what i wrote about was about uh, me participating in a hackathon with two of my classmates and motivating them to participate in it so it was very i think very small incident but it did bring an impact so don't hold back theek hai uh, another thing is uh, google loves pointers so if you could answer every question like every year what they do is they break the question in many parts this year as well they've done this so what you can do is you can answer each part specifically and do stick to the word limit that is something very obvious but people miss out on it so yeah be honest you can include facts and figures you can include quotes in the beginning of the or the end of your essay theek hai keep it personal and very importantly be honest just don't write anything that is not you that is not honest because they'll get to know about it in the interview itself like pass it through a grammar check once at least and if you get a chance to get it reviewed as well apne friends and colleagues se to for sure from past scholars if you can get them reviewed theek hai so these would be some points i'd say for the essay it's it's the main part of your uh, application Okay, so one thing that can help your resume stand out is uh, volunteer experience. So if you've helped someone or you've volunteered somewhere, you've made any outreach uh, initiatives, do uh, don't forget to mention them because they do count. Especially when you're applying for a scholarship, this is something they consider. ठीक है? Why? As you said, there are not more uh, points to a fresher's resume. I think one thing that Google keeps in mind is your CGPA. So do mention your CGPA. Uh, they I think they prefer somewhere above nine. but if it is there it's good if not just let me supply and uh, about this year's um, essay questions in particular uh, i think there's one around uh, sorry there's one around some barrier that you were facing and there's another about a complex problem just try to make it personal and uh, one thing you can do is just don't uh, start thinking a day before or on the day of the deadline uh, just try to brainstorm it for a week or a month It, it jot down the points that you can mention, and then try to make a story out of it. That would make your essay more readable and more presentable for someone who's reading it. It would be easier for them to understand your story. And do also make sure that whatever you write does not just make sense to you, but also to the people who are reading it. So you can uh, get it reviewed. Yep. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, that was it. And do you have any other pointers? I think one and two major things are that deadline ka wait mat karo. Apply as soon as possible because obviously they are closing after they get three thousand applications. And still, it is always on rolling basis. So why not apply as early as possible and at least get two or three review rounds. That is, I think, a very major part of it. I hope you enjoyed this conversation. And apart from this, other things are that make sure that whatever you are writing on your resume is true. Make sure that you have good. and engaging linkedin and github profiles and i hope you very all the best you can send me your essays if you want me to review them or resume as if you want me to review them on my email it is given in the description box and all the best